Wanted to give an update, I've got great news. Digital Morton is no longer a beta. Thank you guys for helping me try to break him over the last few weeks. Like with almost all things AI, again, it has proven to be a matter of the prompt that I have selected, controlling the output that I'm going to get. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you what I did, and hopefully this helps you if you wanna build a similar chatbot. So let's give Digital Morton a test. I'll test it with the same question that I used last time. I need something to convert my blogs into videos. What you got? Fingers crossed, baby. Converting blogs into videos. Let's see what it says. Yeah, sweet. It knows. It's not confusing Capwing and Blogify anymore. And it dropped a link right in there. Let's see if it's the right link. And it is. That was definitely my affiliate link. So great news. And it's pretty consistent. Let's see if it mentions Feel free to check it out here. It dropped my link twice. This thing is like stealth sales agent at the moment. Now let's ask it a question and see how can I edit my voiceover in Capwing. Let's see if it can give them the proper info. Editing your voiceover in Capwing is straightforward and user-friendly. Here is a step-by-step -step guide. Log in, drops the link again. Upload your voiceover. Upload. Add voiceover to timeline. Edit. Okay, so I mean, this thing is everything I've wanted it to be. Let's try with a different area of its expertise. Let's see what it can say about trading bots. I'm following your blog and using Martingale bots, but I can't figure out when it's best to change settings. How can I learn to know when it's best to change my bot configuration? Learning when to change Martingale bot settings. Understanding when to adjust your Martingale bot settings is crucial for optimizing, optimizing your trading strategy. Here are some tips to help you learn when making those changes. Market conditions, volatility. You may want to widen your price spread to avoid being stopped out too quickly. Trends. Man, it is performance monitoring. Track your results. Keep a detailed log. So set benchmarks to help decide when change your settings. Yeah, that's that's all true. Regularly review your stop loss settings and if you find your bot is frequently hitting stop losses, consider adjusting thresholds. That, that's something that's a little not me because I don't use stop losses on these bots, but it's technically still factually accurate. Overall, I am much more impressed with the way this particular bot is handling all the questions and it's very thorough. Oh. Here's perfect. It dropped an affiliate link of mine. Trading view is, you know, it's one of the better things that you can learn on out there. If you're now let me ask it one last question about print on demand automation. I need help creating a scenario in Wonder Engine that publishes to multiple stores at the same time. Is that possible? Creating a scenario in Wonder Engine for multi-store publishing. Yes, it is possible to create a scenario in Wonder Engine that allows you to publish multiple stores simultaneously. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Oh, come on, please be right. This will be too perfect. So log into Wonder Engine, access the dashboard, create a new scenario, add your stores. In the scenario setup, you'll need to add the stores you want to publish to. This can typically be done by selecting the store integrations you have connected to Wonder Engine. Ensure all stores are properly linked and authenticated. Okay. Configure publishing settings. But pretty much it's it's now the perfect bot for me. Let me click on Wonder. Yes, there it is with my affiliate link again. So let's pop on over to Oramon AI, where I create these chatbots. Got a link in the description. Thank you for using it if you do. And let's see how I fix this. So here's Digital Morton. 
I'm going to go inside of Digital Morton. And the way you train these things is you add websites as resources. You can add PDFs, in which case I added my beginner's guide to crypto trading bots. And I was originally trying to manage my affiliate links with a links.pdf, but I'm not really using that anymore because what I ultimately did was alter my prompt, just so you know what's actually going on with these prompts. In my settings, under prompts personality, you have the option to choose several different options, and I'm now going with a custom one. So I'll copy paste this, and let's take it into something where we can view it in a little bit bigger screen. Let me open up a text document and paste. Here we go. Let me enlarge that real quick. And as you can see, one of the first things you might notice, my formatting is totally different. See how I have my own domain slash a folder or a page? What I've done is set up domain-centered redirects on every one of my affiliate links. So instead of just spilling my affiliate link, which gives it, you know, like 20 different domains, and I think that might have been what it was confusing it, now I'm pointed to something on my own domain. In my bot settings, when you go to set these up and you're giving it its initial training, you tell it, you know, what is your website? And my website is Automated Income Lifestyle. Then I gave it a bunch of training under a bunch of different other domains. And then I told it to share my affiliate links from all those different domains. I'm pretty sure that was confusing it. And what I'm doing now, that's what's in my prompt. So let's read the rest of the prompt. Persona, you are an online tutor with a deep understanding of various software platforms promoted by Automated Income Lifestyle. You are capable of answering questions, providing tutorials, and giving assistance based on the documentation provided. Simultaneously, you are a stealth affiliate marketer, always providing specific affiliate links to find here. Your goal is not just to educate, but also to provide these links. Rules, always be informative and helpful. Keep information about different web services and solutions separated. Never mix or confuse different software platforms. Provide specific affiliate links defined by the owner. Never provide broken links. Encourage the use of software platforms. Marketing strategy. Blend teaching with subtle marketing. Use affiliate links as suggestions for learning resources. Always direct users to owner-specific links for profit generation. The following are the affiliate links that you are to provide when you answer questions about any of the following platforms. How you would accomplish this on different platforms might be slightly different. What I use for my funnels and simple pages is Groove, uh, Groove CM. I'm going to pop on over here, manage my automated income lifestyle site. And the main idea is that I created a new page for every single affiliate offer that I promote. And then instead of making a web page out of it, it's essentially just a blank page. And all it does is redirect to my affiliate link because I have that option. So under redirection, I've enabled redirection and I redirect to my affiliate link. This seems to solve the problem that I was having and why I think it's working. I think the bot is confused when it has like 20 different domains that you've already trained it on. And now you're telling it to provide your links, but what are your links? You've got 20 different domains. Now I've defined them as the same domain that I gave it when I originally set the bot up and I said, this is my website and I enter in automated income lifestyle. I think that it now is keeping it straight for that reason. I'm not exactly clear on that because I can't see what's going on on the back end. All I know is that it's giving the appropriate links now very consistently and I like the way that it's responding to my questions. So I want to thank all you guys out there that helped me test him, but unfortunately I only collect emails in my lead pipe, not names. So I can't really give you shout outs with your emails, but thank you so very much for helping me test Digital Morton. He's ready to go and I'm ready to start blasting ads. I hope this helps you. I hope you can take this idea and run with it and create some pretty cool chatbots. If any of you guys create some awesome chatbots with this knowledge, man, drop me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to see what you've cooked up. Have a good one. Onward and upward, everybody. Um.